Team Naples, uh, I'm here with Team Wildcats at the uh, Naples High School here in Grishiniano. Uh I've got uh, principals Fredo and Chris with me, and uh, this is the last stop on our tour this afternoon uh, in preparations for what we're doing about the coronavirus. As you all know out there in the listening audience, uh, the school is temporarily closed. We're doing some deep cleaning, and we're also uh, testing our distance learning program. So Fredo and Chris, tell us a little bit about how that's going and then we'll walk inside and, uh, and take a look at the facilities. Yes, sir. Uh, we met this morning with our district uh, colleagues in Vicenza and here at uh, the Naples field office to develop a plan tomorrow for teachers to come back and to begin to roll out that uh, digital platform beginning Thursday and Friday. At the elementary school, doing a very similar type of project. Uh, we've got trained up and we're ready to roll out with the teachers what it'll look like for the digital learning. Um, it is something that's sustainable and we can keep going and, and until we need to finish it. Okay, so we're inside the school now and I told you that phase one of this shutdown would be deep cleaning. Uh, we're here with some of the cleaning personnel actually <laughs> taking pretty good care of the heads and uh, horizontal surfaces. Chris, do you want to tell us a little bit about what's going on? Right now they're touching all surfaces, all doorknobs, anything that could, uh, could that needs to be cleaned and hygienized. So we'll uh, make sure that everything is clean and they are really knocking it out. And as you can see, they're wearing the protective gear and they're ready to rock and roll. All right, Senora, Senora, grazie mille. Prego. All right. Uh, we're gonna energize our distance learning program in Dodia. And uh, anybody, Darnell, how did it go here with the students uh, when they found out about this? Uh, all the students were prepared and ready uh, for the virtual learning. Um, it went very well. They were settled, and it was just like a normal day. Okay, so the students are out today. It's uh, Tuesday. Uh, what about uh, computers? Does everybody have a computer? And if they don't, uh, what can we do about it? Right so we have uh, options available for those families who may have some technology challenges at home. All they need to do is reach out to myself or Mr. Bean over at the elementary school, and we will help them get uh, that platform up and going at home so they can have a continuity of education plan for their children. How long can you uh, sustain this? For as long as necessary. We're working on a plan right now uh, to go with uh, live digital learning as of Friday, so we can continue this as long as it needs to go. Okay, that's reassuring because uh, we're not sure uh, how much longer Italy will maintain uh, the current status of uh, the red zone. So uh, bear with us, folks. I think the professionals here at DoD are doing everything they can to maintain the high standards of learning. Uh, of course, uh, some of that responsibility uh, belongs to students and parents as a team. Uh, we're all one team, one fight, and we'll get through this and work through this together. Thank you very much. And thanks for everything you're doing, uh, Chris Brader and Darnell. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank Super. you.